Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IG Delft Institute for Water Education. I've received a question on my YouTube channel about how to calculate the concentration time of a river in a catchment using the Kirpich equation. In this video I'm going to explain the steps on how to calculate it. The steps for other equations are very similar. For this demonstration we need a digital elevation model uh, layer with our channels and just for orientation the catchment boundary polygon. I've styled it using a hill shade. The first step is to select the longest stretch of the river. So we use this selection tool. When we keep shift pushed and we use the tool we can add different selections and we just follow the river. It helps to zoom in, then you can better uh, select the part that you need. And there we are. So the yellow part is the selection of the longer stretch of the river. Now we can export that to a new file. So we click right on channels, choose export, save selected features as, and then we give it an output name. Let's call it river. And we click OK. And then the selection is saved to a new shapefile in this case. You can copy the style of the other one. Paste the style and remove the bigger channels file not to get confused. And there we have our main river for which we want to know our concentration time. Next, I need the first and the last node of the river. So I go to the processing toolbox and there's a useful tool for that. If you search for vertex, you can find this tool under vector geometry, extract specific vertices. We choose our river layer and the vertices have a number. So zero is the first vertex. There's some good explanation, a well-documented tool. And let's save it to first node and see what happens. And we see that now we have the first node of each segment. That's not really what we need. We want the first node of the whole river. To achieve that, we need to dissolve the river. So all segments are gone and it's just one line. So go to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Dissolve. And make sure you have selected the river. We keep the defaults there. And I save it to a new file and I call it Rivers, River Dissolved. Let's calculate again the first vertex, now with the dissolved layer, index number zero. I'll give it a new name, I'll just call it first. I run it, I remove the other layer, and then I see that now it really selected the first node of the line. And I also want the last one, so the same tool, and if you want the last one, you use minus one. So you can count also backwards. Uh, minus two will be the former last, etc. And I run it. Now we see that I have the first and the last one. You can see them also in the map. So now we have the two points and I want to merge them into one layer. So I look for a function to merge. And there we have the merge vector layers tool. And I select the first and the last node. Let's specify the projection and save it to a file. Let's call it first last. Then I run it. And there it is. Check the attribute table and I see there that it has a column with the distance, which is very useful. We need that later. 
So you see the uh, vertex position and then the distance. But I also need the elevation, so I'm going to sample it from the elevation model. So we have these two points, first, last, and I have a DTM. I'll just change the column prefix to Z. And then I'll choose the name of a new file, and let's call it first, last, Z. Run. And check the attribute table. And now we really have everything that we need. We have the distance and we have the elevation difference. So we can uh, fill in the Kirpich equation. Now that's uh, very hard to do as a calculation from the attribute table using the field calculator. So I'm going to show you how to make a PyQGIS script for that. So here's the Python script and uh, I can run it. And there we see the results printed on the screen, so 21 minutes. And you can see here uh, that I define the constants and I read from the layer the Z field. And then I read the maximum value minus the minimum value. And then I know the elevation difference. I read the distance field for the length. Then I can calculate dx. And then there is the slope is uh, dz over dx. And then the concentration time is the equation k times dx to the power of constant one times s to the power of constant two. And then I print the results to the screen. You can find the script in my GitHub repository. The link is in the description of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And you can apply similar uh, calculations to other equations for the concentration time. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe for my YouTube channel. And if you're looking for more free materials, have a look at GISopencourseware.org.